want to reiterate is that the transcript edit portion allows for the bulk editing to be done in, a, in an easy, elegant, seamless way in the fastest way possible. And I like to refer to this as really like a, a word processor with a video player engine tied to it. So all of the bulk edits in terms of accuracy, cleaning up the speech to text, making it 100% perfect, takes place in that transcript edit section. Now, with regard to the indexing and parsing of that transcript, when we convert to the caption section, that happens again, based on the presets that we define in, in, in that preset section that we walk through. And the system will basically time reference or index those captions based on those presets to the time references in the media. You know, now this is done in the, in the background through the AI technology and the sophistication of our tool. But I think to the, to the, uh, the participants question, if there are any nuances that need to be made, you can simply go into that caption edit section, like we briefly showed, and you can, again, you can move things up and down. You can time shift them. You can split a caption. You can move something to an upper portion or a different portion, and you can still interact with those captions while you see and hear the media, which is the key thing, of course, so that things stay in sync. So there is the point I want to leave, uh, to this question is that there's a great degree of specificity and granularity that the operator using trans can create to line up and make sure that those captions are in sync and exactly as the operator wants them, you know, by you. Yeah. Does it have to start in English? In other words, can it start in, you know, Croatian and go to French? And that's a great question. So no, it, it, it's not predicated upon initiating the process as an English only starting point. Uh, again, there's like 25, I think we're at 25 different languages that are supported. So you could start in any language, start in French and you could translate to Portuguese, or you could start in Farsi and you could move to, again, whatever else it was you were wanting to localize or translate.